The Patagonian toothfish, or Chilean sea bass, is a slow-growing deep-water fish species. These fish are named for the sharp teeth on their upper jaw. They are primarily found in cold ocean waters around sub-Antarctic islands and off the coast of South America. Their body is long and mottled gray. They are predators that feed primarily on fish, squid, and crustaceans. They occur over a wide depth range from about 160 feet to 12,600 feet. Adults can be found near the ocean floor. Juveniles move into deeper water as they reach maturity. They do not mature until about 10 years of age. Adults can reach a length of over 6 feet and weigh over 200 pounds. Females are somewhat larger than males. Patagonian toothfish are long-lived, with some estimates suggesting they can live over 50 years. They are preyed on by deep-diving sperm whales and elephant seals, along with large squid. Their slow growth and late maturation make them vulnerable to overexploitation by commercial fisheries. Because of their late maturity, many fish are caught before achieving breeding potential. Patagonian toothfish started to be caught in long lines in the early 1990s in the sub-Antarctic waters around Patagonia. The fish's name was restyled to the Chilean sea bass when first imported to the United States from Chile in order to make the fish sound more palatable to American restaurant patrons. Now Chilean sea bass has become one of the most popular menu items in upscale American restaurants. They are being fished very heavily. There is also a problem of illegal fishing over the allotted catch limits. It is difficult to monitor illegal fishing in the Southern Ocean since the area is so remote. Illegal catch is hidden in a number of ways, such as mislabeling the species, falsifying permits, and offloading at rogue ports. However, increased regulations and monitoring have helped to significantly reduce illegal fishing in recent years. A similar species, the Antarctic toothfish, is also sold under the name Chilean sea bass. For more marine facts, click the subscribe button.